Hi, I'm Bill Lampton, President of Championship Communication. It's my privilege to talk today with Alan Urich. Alan is Managing Partner of Stony River Capital Partners in Roswell, Georgia, near Atlanta. For more than 30 years, Alan has helped entrepreneurial companies present their business proposition so that they can get the financing that they need. He's done this very successfully. Alan is a columnist. He's also a university professor at Georgia State University. He is well known in his community. He's a person who's a strong communicator and it's my privilege and yours to visit with Alan Urich today. Alan, hi, it's really good to be with you and of course as I mentioned in the introduction you and I have known each other a couple of years yes. through an Atlanta business networking group. Recently you said to me that you had become involved with improv theater and that you found it very beneficial to your business. That's what I want to explore today and the first thing I'd like to ask to clarify for all of us what is improvisational theater, which will shorten to improv theater? What, what is that? Great question. Improv theater is where you take a certain environment and you build the relationship about the environment and you don't know what the environment's ever going to be. And, and uh, you know what the relationship could be, but you don't know exactly what it is. And so what you do is you take an environment, like in networking, in the business environment, uh, you, you network a lot. I network a lot. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of different things. I have students that I network with, and you never know what they're going to say to you. And you have to act in the moment. And that's one of the big things. There's about 10 different areas that you look at when you partner. One is trust. Another one is when you stay in the moment, you know, and just go with that moment and just take it. From there. This is um, this is getting into what your your training company calls the um, the Ten Commandments of it, Improv Theater. It is the Ten Commandments, and there's a lot of different commandments in there, like stay in the moment and uh, try to uh, uh, make your partner look good, and things like this. You know, those are those are some of the basic ones, and we uh, and we do that. We we never try to usurp one another. What we try to do is try to just make the other person look good, and we trust them. And right now we're in our sixth week. And in our sixth week, what we're doing is we're just learning to trust. And in business environments, you learn to trust a lot and it, because it's very important that you uh, trust your partners, especially in an entrepreneur uh, environment. One of the things I do in my class is I put them into team, what I call caves. And they have to work and they have to study an entrepreneur. And when they're studying an entrepreneur, what they're doing is that they're, they're working as a team to study this because everyone gets the same grade as the as the uh, um, uh, when, when they're in their case study and so so are you applying improv to your teaching oh I am in, mm -hmm. uh, teaching my business life and that's why I took it because uh, quite honestly I, I get into a lot of things I'm also an investor and I get into a lot of different things and sometimes you have to lighten up a little bit you know and you have to go in the moment and just diffuse certain situations and this is what it's taught me how to better diffuse certain situations by not asking more questions which when you're thinking uh, about things but what are you what you're doing in that is to uh, uh, to uh, trust your partners and, and things like this so. now this is a six week session you're in, you're in the final yeah. week now have you had the same improv partner all the way through or do you switch around no there's a, in, in our troop there's about eight eight folks in there and we learn the characteristics of each of these folks like there's a, a professional Santa Claus in there there's an attorney in there there's a, 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 a man who does uh, branding who's uh, who I knew before uh, there is a just a young uh, uh, not a student he's past student he's about 22 years old just a young man that's in there uh, there's a lady who runs a theater group in this so you see we come from all over and usually I deal with a lot of just business people or university folks and this is a way for me to to get out and to understand more about what's going on and, and to uh, smooth it around. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. Well, let's talk about some of the specific ways. I know when you emailed me, you said that you did find that this was a wonderful fit for you for your business. 
What are some of the things that you've learned in the improv class that you have applied in your business life and what results have you found? I think one of the things that I've learned and one of the things that I'm working on is I write, I do so many questions. Well, there's two things. One is, is the questioning of it and the other is the listening. Is that I know what, I, I, I know what I need, where I want to lead the, uh, the person I'm talking to, now usually in a business situation. And so what I'm trying to do is, is listen a lot more on that and not ask so many questions and go with the moment and what, take what they say, understand it and move it you know, to uh, perhaps uh, where, where I think I want the conversation to go is one way, but the other one is that if the conversation doesn't go that way, then to take a look at it a different way, you know. One of the things it seems to me that you're saying, Alan, is that maybe prior to getting into this class, you had things very carefully pre-planned, programmed as to how you were going to deal with people. Very methodical. There was not room for spontaneity, for adjusting. No, and, and what kind of got me into it, I, I've got three grandchildren. I've got a, a granddaughter who's five, Grace. And Grace, you never know on a five-year-old where they're going to go. Right. You know, there's just spontaneity and you got to go with the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what, what uh, this is, is to understand what that moment's about by listening and then asking if you want to ask appropriate questions, ask appropriate questions, but try to stay away from the questions and just listen and, and say the, the words like, oh, and hmm, interesting, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So, I'm curious, have you shared this with your business partners? I've shared some of it. I, I've sent it around to different folks because I, I think that they need to understand that business can be conducted a different way. And one of the reasons of this is that I go to a group uh, that is uh, called WIT, Women in Technology. I'm familiar with that. And mm -hmm. as a man, I was always raised, you know, that it's not so important for the relationships as it is about understanding uh, what's going to happen on the business. You know, let's talk business and things like that. That's a classical trained uh, person. And with women in technology, I learned that the, that the business relationships that they form first and then they do business is, is, very, uh, is very key to how they do business. And so I've been changing my methodologies of doing business to let's form a relationship, let's find out what that person mm -hmm. is about, let's find out how many kids they have, what they're, what they're, what's, what's on with their life, because that's the, one of the most important things to all of us you know, is our families and our, our lives like that. And so I've been uh, changing and improv just really fi helps me to fine tune that, you know, to that, to understand the relationships, but to understand the moment, you know, that we're in and listen a lot more. As you know, Alan, I, I conduct uh, communication seminars yeah. for a wide variety of groups. I don't think I ever conduct any, whether it's a half day, a one hour, or a full day, that I don't include a segment on listening. I call listening right. our most powerful communication tool, and yet maybe our most neglected. And so, how would someone who wants to find out more about this directly, how would they get in touch with you, Alan? Oh, it'd be great if they can just email me at A-U-R-E-C-H, Alan A. Urich, at Stony River Capital, S-T-O-N-E-Y, River, R-I-V-E-R, -E Capital. And we'll spell that out on the bottom of the screen here so okay. they'll see it. Or they can call me on my cell phone at 678-520-9989. All right, you see that number. You see it written down there. <laughs> you see the email address. Alan is open to hearing from you. Alan, thank you so much. Any closing oh, comments? Welcome. No, I just hope that uh, more people take improv theater uh, other, because I think it's a great way of, of looking at the world and having fun also.